Hey, welcome back to another walkthrough. This week we are looking at Excel 5F career programs. Well, let's begin. Let's go ahead and download our assignment. And we'll click on Excel Chapter 5. And 5F career programs homework. Let's go ahead and download our materials. Remember, do not download all files. Go ahead and download each one individually. And let's go ahead and open up our student file. And if needed, go ahead and hit enable editing. All right, so for step number two, it says on the main East worksheet, insert a table using the range A1 to J40. So let's go ahead and highlight A1 all the way down to J40. Let's go to the Insert tab. Under the Tables group, let's click on Table. And it's going to ask us to create a table. Make sure you have uh, My Table Has Headers checkmarked and hit OK. And now notice that it puts a table in for us from that uh, name from that range. It wants us to display the table styles gallery. So under our table tools here, or our table design, here's our table styles. Let's go ahead and hit the down arrow with the line above it. Under light. In the last row, apply the first style. So let's see here under light, under the last row, it says first style. So that style should look like this greenish style right here. Now for step number three, it wants us to sort the table by campus using a custom list in the following order of main, east, and west. We'll make sure we are clicked somewhere inside this table. And let's go to the Home tab. Under the Home tab, under our Editing group, notice that we have this Sort and Filter. Let's go ahead and click on Sort and, sort and Filter, and we're going to do a custom sort. Here, we're going to sort by, and we want to sort by Campus. So we're going to go ahead and select Campus. And we're going to come over here to where it says A to Z. Let's hit the down arrow and select Custom List. Here we want to make sure we hit new list and we're going to add an entry. So we're going to go ahead and type in main comma space east. Make sure they're all capitalized main comma east comma west. Make sure all the letters are capitals. Once you've typed in all of those, hit Add, and go ahead and hit OK. For Mac users, there are additional steps for you to take in step number three. So Mac users, make sure you follow the steps in step number three. Now it also wants us to add a second level. So let's go ahead and click on Add Level. And then by, we're going to do Division. And we're going to add one more level. And this one is going to be program name. So let's change it to program name. And we're going to leave them both A to Z. So campus with our custom list, division A to Z, program name, name A to Z, and hit OK. So what that does is it will first organize it by campus. Then it will organize it by division. And then within those divisions, it will organize it by program name. So now for step number four, it wants us to display the second worksheet, Delivery Mode Comparison. So let's come down here. Let's click on our Delivery Mode Comparison. Here it wants us to copy the range A6 to G7. So it wants us to copy A6 to G7. So A6 to G7. So just these right here. 
Go ahead, after you highlight it, hit, right click and hit copy. Notice how we have the ants marching around it, the moving border. And it wants us to paste this into cell A1. So I'm gonna come up here to cell A1. I'm gonna right click and hit paste. This one right here. So now it puts it up here for us. It wants us to change the title in cell A1 to criteria. So in cell A1 where it says course delivery mode, let's go ahead and hit the backspace key and type in criteria. Make sure you capitalize the C. And then it wants us to select the range A2 to G3. So let's highlight where it says program name A2 down to G3 right here. And we want to make this a named range. In order to make it a named range, we need to come up here to where it says A2 in this name box. Go ahead and put your cursor in there and type in criteria. Make sure you capitalize that C. And very important, you have to hit the enter key in order for that name to stick. So now we have just ha made this a named range. And why that's important is because when we go to create formulas, uh, we can use the named range in the formula instead of actually having to spell out uh, what those cells are. So now it wants us to copy cells A1 to G2. So let's go ahead and click A1 down to G2. Notice how it will highlight everything. Let's go ahead and right click and hit copy. You can also hold down Control and C, which will also copy it. Now it wants us to go down to A36. So let's go down to A36. And you can go ahead and hold down your control key and hit V to paste. Control V will paste it for us. Now in cell A36 right here where it says criteria, let's change that to online dash hybrid delivery modes. Once we've typed in that, now it wants us to highlight A37 to G37. So let's go ahead and highlight A37 to G37, just this line right here. And we're gonna give it a named range. So let's come up here to our name box. Let's click on it and type in extract. Once you've typed in extract, it's very important. You must hit enter. And last, what we need to do is we want to highlight range A7 all the way down to G34. And we're going to name this range database. And hit enter. So what we've just done here is we've created a criteria range, we've created a database, and we've created an extract range. So what we're looking to do is we are looking to pull information out of this database based on a certain criteria and have it listed down here. So in this particular case, we wanna go to up here under primary mode delivery, right here under E3, we wanna type online, capital O, online. And we wanna put hybrid under secondary mode. So type in hybrid, make sure you capitalize the H. So now once we have all of this in our criteria mode, we now wanna do a advanced filter that will put all of the entries in here that have a primary mode of online and a secondary mode of hybrid down here. To do that, we wanna to come to our data tab here under our data tab, we have our sort and filter group right here, and we want to click on advance. Now here it has our advanced filter. We want to put a dot next to copy to another location. And let's double check. So our list range, notice it says A7 to G34. That's our database range. Our criteria range is A2 to G3, which is up here. And our copy to location is uh, A37 to G37, which is down here. So taking the names that we created, it knows exactly what to pull for our advanced filter. So now all we have to do is hit OK. 
And notice down here, it pulled out of here any of the items that had a primary mode of online and a secondary delivery of hybrid. So now step number seven wants us to go to the stipends by division. And it wants us to sort the data in ascending order. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click somewhere in our data here. And let's come up here to our sort and filter. You can go to the data tab under sort and filter and click on sort. Comes up with our sort field. It says we wanna sort first by division. Let's go ahead and select division. And it wants us to select program chair. So let's go ahead and add a level. And we wanna select program chair stipend. And go ahead and hit okay. And notice now it's in order from business, industrial science. So it's in order from division, and then it's in order by how much of a stipend they have. It wants us to apply the subtotals to the program chair stipend column. So to do that, we're gonna come back up here to our data tab. Under our outline grouping here, let's go ahead and click on subtotal. And it wants us to have the subtotal on the program chair stipend, which is correct. And it wants us to have uh, want the column at each change in division. So at each change in where it says program number, we wanna change that to division. Make sure this says sum, make sure that's checked, program chair stipend, and hit okay. And now notice, after every division, we have a total of how much each of those stipends cost for that entire division. It wants us to auto fit columns C and D. So let's come up here, hover over the C, notice how we get that black arrow pointing down. Go ahead and click and hold and drag it over to D. So make sure both of these columns are highlighted. And then right in between both of them, notice how we get those two arrows pointing away from each other if we hover on the line in between C and D. Double click really fast and that will auto fit both of those for us. Now it wants us to collapse the outline so that only the level two summary information is shown. So let's come over here to our level two. Let's hit these minus signs right here. So that all we see are these totals right here. For step number nine, it wants us to group all three of them together. So let's go all three worksheets together. So let's click on main east, west, hold down the control key, select delivery mode while holding down the control keys and select stipends by division. So when we do that, all three of them should be highlighted. It wants us to insert a footer. So let's go to our page layout tab here. Under our page layout tab, let's click on our page setup little page setup dialog box here under header footer under custom footer it looks like we want the file name in the left section so right here is our file name in the left section and in the right section it wants the sheet name so let's go ahead and click on our right section here and this icon says insert sheet name so let's go ahead and insert a sheet name go ahead and hit ok it wants us to center the worksheets horizontally so let's go ahead and click on margins center on page put a check mark next to horizontally and then under the page tab it wants us to set the uh, height and width so let's hit the fit to one by one go ahead and hit ok now we can ungroup these go ahead and right click on one of these and hit ungroup sheets and let's go ahead and put our properties in let's go to our file tab under our info show all properties under our tags let's go ahead and add career programs for the subject CGS go ahead and hit the save button save it again for good measure and let's go ahead and minimize it let's turn it in so I'm going to come back to here exit out of my downloading materials I'm going to choose my file it should be under my downloads there it is 
F. I'm going to go ahead and hit open, upload, and submit for grading. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to check my grades. I'm going to hit the three dots next to career programs, hit view submissions. And it looks like I got 100%. If you got something less, remember you can click on the submission and you can scroll down, see what it is that you got wrong and fix it if needed. Well, that concludes this four or this 5F walkthrough. I'll be working shortly on 5G. Have a wonderful day.